Well, 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 well. Good morning, my Facebookers. I hope that most of you are up, but as my granddaddy said, the early bird catches the worm. The reason I'm tagging y'all in because I want you to see something even when you do get up. I want to show you how the government has really been fucking us over as people. You know, you're about to go out to the polls in November and uh, we're, we're voting these cats in and uh, it's unfair. But um, I'll get more in depth with it with you tomorrow, 7 p.m., vetradio.net. Check me out, Detroit Raw Live, Eastern Standard Time. But in between then, check this out. He's going to be joining more than Joe later this morning. You definitely missed that. Well, after four days of deliberations, the jury in the fraud trial of Paul Manafort found President Trump's former campaign chairman guilty on eight of the counts against him. The jury was unable to reach a unanimous verdict on the other ten counts Manafort faced, and his trial marked a critical first stage for special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. NBC News Justice Correspondent Pete Williams has more. The jury found Paul Manafort guilty of intentionally dodging taxes on millions of dollars that he earned as a political consultant for the former president of Ukraine well before Manafort served briefly as President Trump's campaign chairman. Prosecutors said he stashed the money in overseas banks and used it to indulge his expensive tastes in clothes, antiques, and cars by wiring money directly from those accounts to pay his bills, bypassing tax collectors from the IRS. From 2010 through 2014, prosecutors said, Manafort earned more than $30 million, but reported less than half of it as income. When the Ukrainian money dried up, prosecutors said Manafort lied in applying for more than $20 million in loans from three banks to maintain his lavish spending habits. The jury convicted him of two of those bank fraud counts. In all, Manafort faced 18 criminal counts. The jury convicted him on eight of them, but could not agree on the other 10. Of those, the judge declared a mistrial, leaving the prosecutors free to charge him with them all over again. The prosecution will be happy that the eight counts of conviction were spread out among each of the different tranches of things that he was accused of. So the prosecution will be able to argue at sentencing that the judge should consider everything. The conviction is a boost for Robert Mueller. Manafort was the first person he charged after becoming special counsel, presumably to force Manafort's cooperation in the Russian meddling investigation. Manafort's lawyers spoke only briefly, thanking the judge and jury for what they said was a fair trial. Mr. Manafort is disappointed of not getting acquittals all the way through or a complete hung jury on all counts. He is evaluating all of his options at this point. The judge hasn't yet set a sentencing date for Paul Manafort, but he could face up to 10 years in prison. And next month, he goes on trial all over again, this time in federal court in Washington, where he's charged with failing to register as a lobbyist for Ukraine, witness tampering, and financial fraud. Francis? All right, thanks to Pete Williams for that report.